สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, August 22nd, and I'm your host JP Mistanza with the news you need to know. Another tragedy in the Phuket seas as a mother watched in horror as her daughter was pulled from the water unconscious while on a snorkeling tour off Phuket yesterday and then later died. 33-year-old Lu Shan Shan and her mother landed in Phuket at about 5 a.m. yesterday and were due to fly home on Saturday back to their native China. And they boarded a day trip tour to Ko Gai Mok off Phuket East Coast, and it was there that the woman, wearing a life vest and a snorkeling mask, entered the water. After some time, the woman's mother noticed she was not moving and raised the alarm. That's when boat crew rushed to pull Miss Lu out of the water, and she was already unresponsive. She was rushed back to Phuket, where she was pronounced dead on arrival at Phuket Provincial Hospital shortly after 4:30 p.m. An examination is now being done to the body to confirm the cause of death. But the woman's drowning is the fourth reported death in waters surrounding Phuket in the last week and a half. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. And the Patong bar owner, who is suspected of being one of two gunmen in a double murder in Chomburi late last month. He's now in Thailand after being handed over by Cambodian authorities at the border, and he's now confessing. 39-year-old owner of Pumpui Bar in Patong's Bangla Road, Panya Yingdang, he was flown to Bangkok last night via helicopter and whisked away in a car to be questioned by the national police chief just this morning. Reports say Panya admitted to the murder of his ex-girlfriend, 20-year-old Pawina Namwangrak, and her male friend, 21-year-old Ananta Chai Jaitram. Which took place in the parking lot of a popular tourist attraction in Chomburi back on July 29, in what investigators say was possibly out of jealousy. Banya immediately fled the country after the incident, sparking an international manhunt, and he was finally arrested last Wednesday on the eastern Cambodian province of Phre Bang, reportedly headed to Vietnam. He's one of six total suspects who are now, who are now in custody in connection with the double murder. For more on this, visit thepuketnews.com. An American actor is now in custody for his involvement with a multinational scam operation based in Singapore that has allegedly defrauded Thai investors of 235 million baht. 25-year-old Derek Matthew Keller, who was in Phuket as a tourist, he was arrested on Monday and questioned by officers from the Department of Special Investigation, Thailand's equivalent of the FBI all on a warrant for his involvement with Eagle Gates Group Co. Ltd., a company that had been in operation for 10 years. Reports say Keller, who works as an actor in China, he was hired by a Singaporean to be the executive director of the company, all to help build their credibility. And so far, he's one of 13 people arrested in the case. The only foreigner, as 12 ties are behind bars, but 32 people in total are wanted. DSI officials say that this scam came to light after 250 people filed complaints and petitioned the agency to investigate them, siphoning off 235 million baht. And reports say that the company's bank accounts were completely bone dry as withdrawals of more than a billion baht were made immediately after the entire fraud became public. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Tong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Patong Police Chief Colonel Anotai Jindamani is confirming with the Phuket News that he has indeed disbanded the 35-strong team of police volunteers in Patong and is looking for a, quote, fresh start. The group of now former police volunteers who were named the International Liaison Volunteers, they were not part of the Tourist Police Volunteers, which is a separate group, and their job was to help tourists understand local laws and their rights related to it. That's according to former volunteer Wal Brown, who was a senior police volunteer for well over a decade. The new Patong police chief, who arrived back in April, he was vague in explaining his reasoning for dissolving the long-serving team of volunteers and says new volunteers will be foreign and Thai, although they're still working on specifics of their role. Meanwhile, Colonel Anotai did tell the Phuket News that all the Patong police officers and higher-ups 
who were transferred in the last year amid corruption allegations and investigations. They have not returned to Phuket. For more on this story, visit thephuketnews.com. A new penalty is being proposed by the Land Transport Department in the capital, which would put drivers who don't have a license squarely in jail for up to three months if you're caught. The current law states that any motorist caught driving without a license gets a jail term of up to one month and or a fine of 1,000 baht. But the new amendments currently being discussed would up the jail time to three months with a fine of up to 50,000 baht. Meanwhile, proposals are also being made to make drivers undergo training every time they need to renew their license and elderly drivers have to go through a health check to make sure they're able to drive safely. We'll update you on the status of the proposed amendments to the current law as they develop. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, soundproof windows, visit pbcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.